Hi everyone. Today I get to show you some of my favorite things in Photoshop and some methods that I use to create glow. I'm going to be showing you how to make glow on this piece. We're just going to be talking about how to kind of create some atmosphere here and make this turtle really come to life. I went ahead and just added a color balance here. You can see all of my crazy layers. We got a lot going on. This was a very complicated piece but I'm just gonna close that up and then pop this color balance on. Super simple. All I did here was just adjust down to cyan and blue and green to kind of give that nice nighttime moody underwater feel that you all may know from but most of my work is kind of along those lines, right? We are just going to make a new layer and we're gonna be kind of doing a little bit of painting here to create the glow. Pick a nice bluish teal color here to kind of match the mood of the turtle. And let's just see what this would look like if we were on normal blending mode. We could go ahead and paint and we just get our basic brush. If we go into blending modes and we turn this down to overlay. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit more glow here. We can go in and paint this in and that automatically already one touch of a button makes this look so much more realistic and you could come in and paint this. I like to use overlay quite often when I'm kind of creating uh, this overall atmosphere look, but I really like to use color dodge when I'm getting into the details of the glow. Maybe I would use this a little bit just to get started and start to create the atmosphere of the turtle. We will make a new layer and then just with a big brush. And I like to bring my flow pretty low when I'm working on this. I bring it down somewhere around 10. It doesn't really matter. It's totally up to you. But I think that with a lower flow, sometimes you can kind of control it a bit more. Oh, you know, we have to be on overlay. <laughs> pop a little bit of color in here and start to create some mood. This is a very slow process. I'm gonna make a new layer here. I was just doing it without even telling you all what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on color dodge. So if we were to have our flow all the way up at 100 and we start painting, it's gonna look crazy. That's not the look that we're going for here. We want to slowly build this. There's a little trick when you're painting with color dodge. And I don't know why this is, but for some reason, this is the case. You're gonna wanna double click on the layer and you're gonna wanna turn off transparency shapes layers. You'll just turn that off. And then what this is going to do is going to help create that glow more seamlessly. We are going to bring the flow nice and low here. And then we're going to start to paint. You can already see like, oh, this is just such a great glow use. And it just makes this beautiful, perfect glow. We can pop some color in on our ocean here. And if I were to move over to my tablet here, I could get nice and refine and come in and do these edges. Obviously, that's it's not gonna look as good with my mouse right now, but we will really kind of bump up this glow. We are gonna just paint a little more in here. Really just kind of taking your time with this, going along and making everything look nice and bright and glowy. Yeah, you would just kind of slowly go along and build up that glow. So let me just turn these off and show you what I did when I took my time. So you can really see like this is before, and then this is after, and it just creates that beautiful glowing atmosphere. And I did a number of different layers. We have a color dodge here. Let me just turn them all off. Color dodge here in the ocean. And then we got another color dodge here for the leg and the grass and some of his shell, and then a final color dodge to really just amp up that color. Then usually when I'm done with everything, I will go into camera raw and add in a final color. And that's another great way to get kind of that perfect atmosphere, perfect glow. Watch this. Mm, perfect. It looks so nice when you add that camera raw in, it just like cleans it all up, puts all those colors nice and blended together and kind of like incorporates the glow that we created. Bye.